He has here for several months trying to, uh, you know, sell on these parts and, and, uh, and obviously making it, you know, up to $12,000 is what the problem, you know, it's very probable that's what it shows on the paperwork. Here. So These parts are being sold for scrap or they're being sold as new parts? No, I think they're just scrap metal. So, that, you know, that's what they're, they're being sold every day, you know, from, you know, these places that are just, you know, buying the metal. And I mean, obviously it's an honest mistake, but that's why we really have to reach out with them and say, hey, look, we need you to notify us if a person's bringing in you know, 30 or, uh, you know, uh, Cadillac converters at a time or over a period of time so that we'll know who these individuals are because it, obviously it's a big market. If you can make in a two-week period $12,000, I mean, that's that's a big deal. Uh, it, the thing that's most important to understand here is think about how many victims that is. And, and when you cut that Cadillac converter off, they get $100 for it, but it could be up to $2,000 to try to replace that on your vehicle. I mean that's substantial for somebody, and, and that's and, and we know that they're cutting off numerous. We, we believe there's up to 30 uh, that we're seeing here in the, in, the, in this this house. So it's it's very uh, it could be lucrative for them, but it's it's again it, it really hurts the, the victims, and that's what's most.